Hey everybody, my name is uh, Brian and I own a small little computer repair shop in South Florida and today we are going to replace a LED screen in a Gateway LT2802U. This is essentially just like a Gateway netbook. A lot of these are pretty similar and um, I'll turn this one on so you can see the bit of a uh, damaged screen. So you can see that this, someone stepped on this and broke this. This is a pretty common issue um, with this uh, with this computer. So um, just because the LED screens are really thin, and, and you can see here that this is this is one here. This this is the replacement, um, and, and they're really fragile. So be, be gentle with these machines. So um, we're going to go ahead and replace the. The screen. Um, a lot of people ask me where I get my screens. Um, eBay, Amazon. You know, I'm not uh, going to um, a special parts warehouse or anything like that. I pay about. Um, I think this one was forty bucks. So forty dollars uh, shipped to my shop, and um, I was able to uh, get get the parts. So anyhow, uh, we're going to remove the batteries. First step. We're going to need a 3.5 millimeter magnetic tip screwdriver, um, a couple of black sticks, these are spudgers, and a bin for our screws. I make these, these are like a little, um, you know, sort of, uh, you know, storage area for some screws. So let's open it up, and uh, I've already pulled the two little black stickers off the bottom screws here, um, just for in the sense of. Uh, interest of time um, so we're going to go ahead and pop these two screws out and these are the only two screws holding this screen on and we're going to take our black stick here and we are going to um, pop these little there's a uh, these clasps that are inside these plastic clasps that are inside and we're going to pop these loose and you, so you can see why a non-marring tool will be handy when you do that because you don't want to scratch the screen. Well, it's broken anyway, but you still don't want to scratch the bezel and you don't want to break anything. So we're just going to run the, the non-marring tool around the outer edge of this bezel here. And we're just popping it off. As you can see, I'm just slowly taking each one and popping the plastic bezel off of this front of this and it's being gentle and it pops off so that's easy right and we've got four screws that we need to pull out here that are holding the LED in pull those out this should only take you 10-15 minutes and uh, you don't need a whole lot of time to do this. And in a computer repair shop, we charge about a hundred bucks to do this. So if you save save yourself the hundred bucks and do it yourself, learn a little bit. It's never a bad idea. Alright, so I'm pulling the screen away and there's cabling back here. You want to be really gentle with it. It's, it's glued to the back of the screen. Okay, this is the LED cable. And I'm gonna pull up this tape here. Real gentle with this. You don't want to break that cable. Cables are expensive. Got the uh, got the cable popped out. I'm gonna set that aside. And now we're going to put our new one in. You can see this isn't rocket science. It's quite easy. Sometimes getting these cables lined up is not easy, but definitely doable. Just got to kind of line it up and then stick your tape down there. Just double check it's in there. And then you're going to want to peel the cover back here. This is the protective cover that they use to ship it. You don't want that tape to be stuck behind there. You'll never get it out if you screw it down. Line this up and grab the screws that we just popped out. Put them 
the back. Yeah, this is uh, this is an easy one. It's good to good to get your hands in on your machine too and understand how it works. If you're a computer tech and you're watching this or an aspiring computer tech, subscribe to my feed. I do a lot of these types of repairs and uh, and explain what I'm doing, talk about pricing, talk about costs and how that all works. Uh, Alright, before I put the front bezel on, I'm just going to plug it in and turn it on. I heard some beeping when I had it uh, going before, so I just wanted to... Yep, there we go. We got our screen. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just tell it to start Windows normally. And that's it. I don't know if you can see that it's booting up there. Actually, the universal power plug there just came out. So, but. Uh, see the screens back in place. Um, let's start windows normally and then we're going to reseat this this bezel and just be aware you got to kind of put these two pieces back down in first and then kind of work your way up the screen and you'll hear it clamping back together and clicking back together and that means that uh, it's reseating itself and then just take these two things and put them back. Thanks for watching.